All right, what's up, boys and girls? Matt here, um, down in the Matt Cave, uh, currently storage room B, if you want to call it that. Uh, heated underground parking. Uh, you got to have it in Minnesota winter. I ain't going to be out there scraping windows every morning. So what I'm doing down here is I come back to Minnesota, and lo and behold, down by the dumpsters, there's all this lumber sitting down there. Now, there's a Jewish holiday. I think it's back in September. It's called Sukkah. And they build these temporary shelters. Well, when they do, they buy all this lumber. You see here. Got, and they're just going to throw it away. So I've got eight foot sticks here, one by twos. I got, uh, I think, 28 of those, I think. I've got to go back and recount. There's more of them out there I might go get. I got four, looks like 12 foot two by fours. Bunch of this tri ply under laminate. This is about four foot by two foot. And then, uh, no, this is about four foot by one and a half and four foot by two, it looks like here. So I got those. And I got, uh, outside the door there, I've got eight four by four tri ply under laminate pieces. Uh, all these one by twos. Then I come up with 16 to get in the storage locker here. I got all these buckets and a trombone that I can't play. That's going to get eBayed. But uh, 16 two by twos. I think these are going to wind up being target stands here pretty quick. But, uh, you know, preparedness is, is about saving money. It's about being resourceful. And uh, I don't know what all this would cost at uh, home. Whatever. That's why I normally go to Lowe's. But anyhow, you never know what you come across. Don't be afraid to be a dumpster diver. Also, check me out here. Get you in the light. Only one splinter. Kind of see him there. Not too big. Not a big deal though, right? Just check it out. I had in my pocket, just so happened to have. Dig around my keys to get it. Whoosh. Gerber clutch. Check this out. They've got the most awesome pair of tweezers. Get them out here. Got cut off down there. My battery died, but check that out. Little bitty tweezers. And that'll that'll dig that right out. My buddy Todd gave this to me. Man, I tell you what, it's been in my pocket ever since you give it to me. It's been down on vacation. I've used it probably probably four or five times. But uh yeah, Gerber clutch. And that's a it's a slick little deal too. Um I'm sure there's knife reviews online, but get her opened up here. Got you a pair of pliers and it's got Phillips and flathead screwdrivers on it. Got them tweezers. Got a nail file and wire cutters down there. It's got a spring back, got a spring to it. You know, it comes back real easy. Boy, it's slick. I haven't really beat on it a whole lot, but I, I have had a chance to use it quite a few times. The uh, the blade that comes in it pretty sharp. But uh, the coolest thing about it. Is it you know wads up pretty small? I mean, look, you can see in my hand, I got big hands, but I mean, that hardly even notice in your pocket. I, I'm one of those guys that doesn't like to have a bunch of you know crap hanging out all of all over the place in his pockets. So, um, man, this is perfect. It uh, yeah doesn't get in the way. It's nice, nice to have on you. So keep coming up with reasons to use it. Thanks, Todd. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, end of the video, I'll just say, don't be afraid to be a dumpster diver. Don't be afraid to be resourceful. Um, of course, getting in dumpsters, you know, you're going to run into nails and uh, hypodermic needles and things like that to try to stay out of them. But, uh, you know, all that lumber stacked up right next to the cardboard recycling bin. So, I lucked out, and uh, there's still a little bit left down there. I may leave that for a couple more days, see if anybody else takes any. If they don't, then uh, it's probably going to be mine too. So.
<laughs> all right thanks for watching uh we'll talk to y'all later